kids look at Alzheimer's disease. Part 1. What is Alzheimer's disease? Welcome to the Alzheimer's Association. You're probably here because someone in your family has Alzheimer's disease or a friend is dealing with it. Spend a few minutes with us learning about the disease and how some other people like you are dealing with it. Are you the only one you know with someone in the family who has Alzheimer's disease? You may think you are, but chances are you really aren't. There are over 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's disease and 15 million people are providing care for them. There may be lots of people you know who are in the same situation, but just haven't talked with you about it. Believe it or not, there are hundreds of thousands of kids out there with a family member with Alzheimer's disease who they live with. That is a gigantic number of kids who come face to face with Alzheimer's disease every day. Here's Senate, whose grandmother has Alzheimer's disease, talking about this. Um, I do think some other kids have to deal with the stuff that um, I deal with because when I spoke to my school um, and I asked, who had whose um, grandparents had Alzheimer's? A lot of kids raised their hand. Let's look at what Alzheimer's disease actually is, and we'll start by talking about dementia. The word dementia is like the word food. It is a great big category full of different things. Just like there are lots of kinds of food, there are lots of different types of diseases that fit under the category of dementia. People with dementia diseases have major changes in memory, mood, personality, and the way the brain works that causes problems with everyday life. They can affect a person's ability to do math, find the way home from the store, or know what day it is. Dementia is caused by lots of different things, including diseases like Alzheimer's disease. Other dementia diseases include vascular dementia, which is caused by many tiny strokes, or other diseases you may have never heard of, like Lewy body disease and frontotemporal dementia. Symptoms are what the doctor sees that shows which disease the person has. All of the diseases on this slide have different causes, symptoms, and medicines for treatment. If someone shows signs of a problem that make the doctor think that the person could have Alzheimer's disease, they run tests to see what is making those signs show up in the person. If the person turns out to have a dementia disease like Alzheimer's, it means those signs of Alzheimer's disease will slowly get worse over time. Alzheimer's has no cure, but in most people, it gets worse very slowly. People often live four to eight years after a diagnosis, but some live over 20 years. Everyone is different, so each person's experience with dementia will be different too. Almost all of the time, people are diagnosed with Alzheimer's after age 65, and the chances of getting it grow the older they get. But a small number of people get Alzheimer's disease in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. This is called younger onset Alzheimer's disease. In this video clip, we see a woman named Joyce who has Alzheimer's disease. That's the most common form of dementia. But Joyce's Alzheimer's disease started at a younger age than most people with the disease, so she has younger onset Alzheimer's. If you have a parent with Alzheimer's, they probably have younger onset Alzheimer's disease. But if you have a grandparent with the disease, they could have the more common kind of Alzheimer's that starts after the person is 65. In this video clip, Joyce, who used to be a college professor, describes early signs of dementia that she noticed in herself. noticed there was a time when I was dialing the phone and I the buttons were I couldn't dial the phone and um, so I went to the neurologist and she said she she they said they they didn't I did some tests and they said they didn't it didn't seem that anything had was different but then a couple of months later um, I noticed that not only could I not dial a phone, but um, I was having difficulties 
writing. I was having difficulty spelling simple words like of and the. I um, was falling a lot. I began to um, have <laughs> have accidents, like minor accidents, driving accidents. And at that time, my husband said, you know, we're going to the doctor. Want to see how Alzheimer's affects the brain? At the end of this program, you can click a link to take the brain tour. You'll be able to look at how the brain works normally and what changes in the brain with Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is different in each person. Some people with the disease get upset more easily, while others get more calm. The changes that are easiest to see early in the disease may be about mood, memory, or getting lost. Most of the time, Alzheimer's is described as having three stages, early, middle, and late. It's important to remember that the way each person goes through the stages is different, and people may seem to be in more than one stage at the same time. Which stage they are in doesn't matter as much as understanding how the person is functioning and making sure that they get what they need. For someone in the early stage of Alzheimer's disease, even before they learn that they have the disease, there are signs of Alzheimer's that might get explained as just a normal part of getting older. People in the early stage may lose things that belong to them and not be able to remember where they just were so they have no idea where to look for the things they lost. They may have trouble finding the words for things when speaking, and may have a hard time keeping up with what other people are saying when they talk with each other. They may get lost easily in places that they know really well, like on their way home from the grocery store. Forgetting things that just happened is the most common sign of early stage Alzheimer's disease. In the early stage, people may remember things from long ago very easily but might have no idea what they had for breakfast or if they took their medicine. All of these changes can be hard for the person with Alzheimer's, and they may get frustrated more often than they used to. People in the early stage can still do a lot, and they can live very full lives. They just need help and understanding with some parts of their everyday lives. As the disease progresses, symptoms increase. People in the middle stage often need help with paying bills, buying and cooking food, and taking care of themselves when they get dressed or bathed. They aren't able to drive anymore by the time they're in the middle stage, and they're more dependent on others for help in many or most areas of their lives. By the late stage, people with Alzheimer's are unable to care for themselves at all, and they often need more care than family can give them at home. The disease causes problems with eating and swallowing, and later will make the heart and lungs no longer able to keep the person alive. In the late stage of Alzheimer's disease, even remembering things from a long time ago gets very hard for the person. They are able to let people know what they want by using just a few words or by pointing. They may not be able to recognize you or other family members and need to be taken care of day and night. 